on the stove to be served over. Entering through your door. Um, and that is why, after all these years, we remember the good old days, and we were happy to be here to celebrate your life. We wish you many more happy years. As Bob Hope would say, thanks for the memories. Carla, Carolyn, and Rick. Many more. I remember the summer evenings we sat on your front porch and chatted the evenings away. I remember when we played cards and had all those goodies to eat. I remember the picnics in the park. What fun we had. Those were the days. Ed and Marie Data, God be with you always. Yay. A very large snowman pattern into the class at the center. Fran said, that's too big. I would never get that done. And you know what? She made more snowmen than anyone else. <laughs> I told her I knew you could I knew you could do it. Congratulations. Thank you, Ida. How many did you make, Fran? Is that from four. Ida? Four. Yeah. Ida? That's, That's from, from Ida. Made four. Thanks, Ida. Thank you. <laughs> In the hospital and they couldn't come. Yeah. Well, that wasn't originally. They had a baptism originally. Yeah. Was ever so, going to. yeah. Dear Fran, how can I put into a few lines how I feel about you? Don't, Mommy, you're going to make me cry just like you. <laughs> you already do, man. I still miss my dear friends. She's my best friend. I, know. I still miss my dear friend and neighbor and have so many happy memories of our times together. Our Sundays to church and then to Burger King or McDonald's for breakfast, <laughs> giving each other perms. <laughs> our Good Friday visits to church, our great card club, the nights we sat on your porch, and your Joe would bring home hot rolls and sticks after work, and we would eat them while still warm. You will always have a special place in my heart. I love you like a sister. Have a great day. God bless, Doris. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, happy birthday, Mrs. Vakella. Yes? It is a bit early for this party, but in about six months you will be turning 80 years old. It is never too soon to take a stroll down memory lane, so here we go. Who could forget our long, hot summers on a dead-end street with Fran and Marion B. Essing about what to make to eat? It was never a puzzle to fill those Tupperware pools. Just serve up some fried <coughs> farts and pickled assholes. <laughs> gifts with grace and style. When Mr. Vakella notices a shortage, he blurts out, put some on Karen Ann's pile. <laughs> New neighbors, Las Tugas's move in, and Baker's move out. Jack and Liz, what was their bag all about? Mr. Las Tugas gets the name wrong for Mr. Vakella. And all the hustle and bustle, the next time they meet,